but it was basically up to my armpit here. Wow. So we had a we had a foot of water on this level here. Yeah, there were ducks swimming. It was like we had lakefront property. There was a, ca a car floated into that intersection. Yeah. Remember, it sat there yeah. for a few days. We don't we weren't sure whose it was. And you're just moving into your Renault house. Yeah. Yeah, that and I said journey. at the time, actually, it may be five years. In all new sidewalks and things, and we're, we actually have extended the front deck here to uh, go across the whole front of the house. <laughs> we can agree to disagree, but we have to agree, and a lot of a lot of stress, a lot of arguments. But I'll tell my kids that we're being open and honest. Um, it's real. We're fighting for a similar end goal. But uh, you can't deny that we've we've had our share of, you know, arguments. I know that after the the flood and and for a period of time after, where the, where you're faced with just so many decisions uh, and how to renovate or whether you're going to sell or whether you're going to build a new house and and uh, you know and w what do you do next and and. Uh, for a long time it was just so daunting that it was really hard to just come back into the neighborhood. And then you'd come back to the house and you'd say okay well how do we get going on this thing and, and the house is a complete wreck on the inside and and, and so it was, it was hard to face. It was really hard to bring yourself to come in here and start saying okay well what do we do next. We went for a walk the other night. It was like the first time we actually kind of just went for a walk and a long time and it was it wasn't anything to do with making a decision um, it was just uh, you know I think we're gonna have to relearn how to do that and relearn how to forgive each other and um, you know maybe start anew because there's a lot of hard feelings because we're still living it um, we haven't been able to move on um, some people I think are still really traumatized by it and they can't even come to grips with what they've lost and you know our wedding album is still underneath the carport at the other house and we can't look at it. Tom's hockey memorabilia sat in a bag and he finally said to me, you threw it out didn't you? Because it was stinking and, and he couldn't bear to throw it out. But. But it's those memories that are hidden in corners of your basement that someday, if we ever have grandchildren, would have triggered the memories that I don't even remember what the memories are. And that's the sad part.